Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've had a question on one of our videos with the Supreme Modules and somebody's having a bit of trouble making an image to video pop up here. Now I'm using Supreme Modules as I mentioned earlier. You can download it from my affiliate link below this video. But I think they're having a problem using the Supreme Images and doing it. So here's a workaround for you. Let's enable the Visual Builder here. And I'll just go down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a simple video module here. A regular Divi one. Divi comes with all these light grey ones as standard. And the blue ones are the Supreme Modules there. I want a video module right there. I'm going to grab a video URL, the YouTube video URL. I'll replace the default Divi one with my own. Insert from URL as I'm using a URL, funnily enough. There we go. Once it's there, you can just insert it into the post. And we've got a little video that's going to play when you click on it. But that's fine, it's not what, what's wanted here. What they want is an image when you click on it that plays a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop playing this for a start. Here's I'm going to go up here to the little round icon just to the left of the trash can and save it to my library. Call it what you will, just something that you remember. Save it to my library. Now it's in the library we can trash it and put the image in that we want so I'm going to add a simple image right here just a regular Divi image module right there choose whatever image you'd like to put in there okay now we're going to make a little bit of magic happen and we're using supreme modules today like I said so if we go to Divi Supreme Pro down there, we want to make sure you've got enable Divi pop-up on, switch to purple like that. If you don't do this, this won't work. Save the changes. Then we'll go back to our page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the changes on my page and reload the page just so that video I saved to the library will show up when I look for it. So we save the page. Let's reload. Once it's reloaded, let's go back into our module here. A little cog. I'm going to go over to my advanced tab, down to visibility. If we scroll down a little bit, we've got a little use pop up button here. Now, had we not enabled this in the previous step, that button would not be there. OK, I want it to pop up a layout. Just move this out of the way. That's fine. You can have it pop up all kinds of different things. I I page, iframes, images, or videos. But I've got a layout. I've already saved it as a layout to the library. Pop up, select from your library. I called it video one. Should be on the bottom right there. There it is, video one. Trigger on, in other words, we want it to trigger and pop up when we click on this module here, which is fine. Close triggers, you can choose to have it outside or inside. That's entirely up to you. If you want to do it on a timer so it automatically closes it, put that to yes and put in whatever time you want. There's all kind of animations you can use. I'm going to leave mine on the default there. Pop up position, center. Yeah, I want it in the middle. I want it to be absolute. So if they're scrolling up and down, it'll stay where it is. I'm not going to say use full width. I find that the 680 works on most devices and there's an option with the video for them to view it full width anyway, so that's fine. Overlay dulls out the website in the background there. I'm going to leave it on the default dark. And show close button. No problem at all. By default, it's an X icon here. You can choose any of these elegant themes icons here. X is pretty standard for a close. And of course you can color it any way you want. So we should be good to go here. Save the page changes. And let's exit the Visual Builder. 
Now if we scroll down a little bit, let's click on our little image and see what happens. There we go, it's popped up with our video. They can do full screen here if they want to. There's a close button up here, but if you click anywhere outside of this, like most pop-ups, it'll close it for you just like that. So I hope that's helped and answered your question. Uh, I know you were trying to do it a different way with the Supreme Image module, which should do it, but um, if you have a problem, here's a workaround. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it helpful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.